Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing two yoga poses that you can do on your back that help a lot with hip and low back tension. I refer to these two poses as pelvis resets because um, they can, they can help open um, the lower back and the hips. Um, one of these you'll probably feel a little bit more than the other, but I suggest giving both a go. And without any further ado, all you're gonna need for this one is a mat, um, or you can do it on a bed or another soft surface, um, any place that you feel comfortable on your back. Let's go ahead and get going. We're gonna lay on your back, and we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, and the knees are going to open out nice and wide. Hands can either by your the hands can either be long by your side or rest on your body. And we're just thinking about taking really big breaths here in through the nose, breathing into any areas of tension that we could feel in the hips, the inner legs, or the low back. And then on the exhale, letting it all go. Out your nose and out your mouth. One thing you might want to know here is if this feels really intense or uncomfortable in your hips, you can place some pillows on one or both sides uh, underneath your knees to help this one feel more supported and to help you be able to take bigger, deeper breaths here without feeling pain. And soles of the feet together, knees wide. And you're just gonna let the knees fall out to the side as you take big inhales, expanding in the areas that you feel tightness and tension. Big exhales, let it go. this one and I'm telling most of my clients to hold for at least 10 breaths. If you could hold this for any length of time that you like. We just want to stay here long enough to allow the stretch to set in and to allow the tension to decrease a little bit. We're gonna go like that, feet together, knees wide. It's a little bit of the same but we're gonna do the opposite motion. If you're interested in this one your hips are in external rotation and we're gonna do the opposite where the hips internally rotate. So being, bring the feet about as wide as your mat. Again, the fingertips um, can reach long by your side or they can be on your body. And then you're just gonna allow the knees on this one to knock in. I just need your knees to be just as wide enough so they can touch. So that might be as wide as your mat or it might be a little closer. It could be a little wider. This is what it looks like. And Again, take a moment to settle in. We wanna find a range of motion here that feels comfortable enough to allow us to take five to 10 breaths. This one, you can feel either through the, the, the hips on either the inner legs or the outer hips, TFL, hip flexor, glute medius through the side of the body, or you can even feel some sensation like I do from time to time in your lower back. All of that is normal. And then while we're here, just kind of settle in and we're taking really big inhales Breathing into the areas of tension, and then big exhales. Let it go out your nose, out your mouth. And again, same with the last one. I would hang out for around five to 10 breaths until you feel a reduction in tension. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more and do these whenever you need a reset through your pelvis and your lower back. Happy morning.